Alright everyone, this is Zero Budget Geek, and welcome back to Pathfinder Adventures, Rise of the Rune Lords. Alright guys, before we start, uh, you notice that I'm in the uh, character dex screen instead of uh, the start screen that I normally am. Uh, and that is because I wanted to show that um, in between episodes, I purchased a new card. I purchased the Grey Gardener. Um, he is uh, recharge this card and reveal a weapon to add 1d6 plus 1 to your charisma or diplomacy check against a monster or an ally. And then if the top card of the blessings discard pile has the Norgorberger Norberger trait, recharge this card to add 2 dice to your check to acquire a boon. So both his abilities are recharges and then he has the discard this card to explore your location. So all of his abilities are very good. About the only person I think I could make good use of him or her I don't know if this is a female or male it looks like female with that bust there anyway uh, I think I'm going to give this uh, to our fighter since he has decent charisma and diplomacy and this would just make it a little bit better um, plus uh, we may one day get the chance to use this spoon and you know explore again so we have to get rid of something so I think um, I kind of like the dilettante but I also like the noble brat. They're both interesting. Um, I just I do like the dilettante because it helps for just anything, and it's a recharge. Whereas she's specifically diplomacy, so noble brat is gonna be out. All right, so that's the only difference I'm gonna make to my checks. I do have to get rid of a card. Um, I have no idea what to get rid of here. I don't want to get rid of some of these really good cards. Um, Sheriff Hemlock. It's kind of nice, but we don't really need them. I think I'll keep the noble brat over the sheriff. Yeah, I don't want to get rid of Palagini, so or Palagina, whatever. So we'll get rid of him, I guess. He's probably worth a lot. One gold. Yeah, he's worth a tremendous amount of money. All right, let us go on to our adventure. So we are in scenario four of the Hook Mountain Massacre. Battle at the Dam. Uh, the villain is Malugus Krieg. Senchmen are Krieg Ogres and the dam may not be temporarily closed. Uh, each character gains a power feat. Um, and I know, noticed this before. Each character chooses a rogue card and gains a feat power. So when we beat this adventure, we're gonna get new roles for our character. So we're gonna get like more, more abilities and stuff like that. Um, and there's a card reward. All right, the Black Arrow Longbow. All right, um, let's get started. We'll read the cards as they come up, uh, you know, the opposition here. And also, we'll check out the story. The Krieg Ogres are sure doing a number on this dam. Fortunately, the Ogres are loud and tired. I may be able to get the jump on them. All right. All right, all right. Oh, the dam may not be temporarily closed, so we may leave that as the last location, I guess, unless something's crazy. Malugus Krieg is the main villain. He's a giant ogre. He's a combat of 18, then a combat of 18. Well, we can do that. If undefeated, he deals one combat damage to each other character at this location, then move each character's location to a random other location. So he slams you away doing one damage to everyone all right that's not too terrible so all right and then the Krieg ogres are combat to 14 and if you don't defeat them they deal one combat damage to each other character at this location all right so not bad looks like there's only f oh there is several locations there is six okay okay so let's take a look at the dam um, at this location you may not move Unless another character is present. So somebody basically always has to be here. When closing, bury 1d4 cards. If you don't have enough, bury any remaining cards from the top of your deck instead. All right. So we will leave that place for last, I think. We've got the Shimmer Glens. This is a new place. Succeed at a Wisdom or Divine 7 check or you cannot move. And to close and succeed at a Wisdom or Divine 8 check. Um, when closed for the rest of the scenario, characters located may choose not to reset their hands. All right, that might be something where we send her to. We've got the Treacherous Cave. Succeed at a Constitution of Fortitude 6 check or you cannot move. Succeed at a Wisdom or Survival 7 check. Oh boy, so that's two places that require um, 
Wisdom or divine. She's good at that. Constitution fortitude. Well, I don't know if this goes away when we close it. All right. Wisdom survival. I don't think anybody is good at that. Wisdom. I actually heard it. Wisdom is a D8. He sucks at it. All right. Uh, his wisdom is good. And her wisdom is the best. So the wizard or the rogue can do this place. Um, we've got the car guard tile at the start of your turn. Summon in counter band henchmen. Succeed at a strength 5 check. Um, the fighter could do that. But also could the uh, rogue. Well, let's see what else we got. We've got the garrison. If you encounter a monster other than a villain or henchman, each other character's location must summon and encounter that monster. Summon and defeat abandoned henchmen. Uh, right. Before closing, set aside any weapons or armors from this location deck and closing, shuffle them back into this location deck. Um, probably for him. Yeah, I think I'll do the guard tower with the rogue. And then we've got the prison, which succeeded a charisma or diplomacy 6 check. Well, damn. That would be the fighter. Shit. So maybe we send him there. Summon defeat abandoned henchmen. All right, our wizard could do this. Combat difficulty increased by two. That's fine. Our wizard could do that. Uh, the rogue here. Um, hmm. Well, I think I'll start off here and try to close this down. And then we'll have to figure out what to do about the treacherous cave. Maybe she will move on to there after. But we're not going to do anything with the dam. We're going to leave that alone. And try to corner the villain there. Depending what happens. Alright, I think this is good. Let's jump into the action. Skulls Crossing. Alright, that's the name of the dam, I guess. All right, start a turn at uh, summon encounter a bandit henchman. Uh, we will just evade him. Boop, goodbye. That's why I send her here. All right, we've got a weapon. We've got a staff. We've got good stuff. Let's explore. A reveler. I've never seen this guy. Let's take a look at this. Recharge this card to add 2d6 to your check to acquire an ally. Well, that's really good. Discard this card to explore your location. This guy's actually pretty good. That's actually... Almost better than the the, gar the great gardener that we got. All right, it's a charisma diplomacy. This is non-combat wisdom. Doesn't help. And dexterity. I kind of like this guy. Uh, what is this here? Caden Kalian. So I could uh, I could recharge that. That's not terrible. Let's do that. Let's recharge that. 58% chance. Um, what, what happens if I play the aid? 90. I kind of like the reveler. Let's go for it. I failed that. Are you kidding me? Alright, we gotta recharge the aid. I can't believe I, I, I failed that. I rolled two ones, man. I rolled two ones on the die. Um, let's go ahead and... Go again. Potion of vision. I don't care about that. I really don't care about that. Alright, let's use this guy to look at the top card of our deck. There's an ambush. So let's look at that. Uh, we've seen this before. Um, it's increased, so it's just harder, depending on what adventure we have. If defeated, you may immediately explore again. Um, and if undefeated, examine the location deck until you find a monster encounter, subtracting one from each die road, and you check the banish this card, reshuffle the remaining cards into the location deck. So when we encounter this, either way, this is going to go away. But if we, um, if we pass the check, then we get to explore again, which is awesome. If we don't, we fight a monster uh, with penalties, but, you know, that's still kind of going through two cards. So that's not terrible. So, there's that. Uh, we're going to roll to see if we encounter the stupid demon. It does not show up. And I'm going to go ahead and use the Staff of Minor Healing to get that 
blessing back and I'm not gonna use this blessing shaylin and I'm hoping to draw into my thieves tools or something so that'll be it for the turn did not get it well that's unfortunate uh, let's back up a second here let's back up a second I want to look at this card this is wisdom perception dexterity acrobatics uh, well, I probably should have kept that one blessing I threw away. Yeah. All right. Anyway, the fighter's turn. He's over here at the prison. That I do. Okay. Yeah. All right. Um. Let's explore. Oh. Skin Soul Ritual. Each character at this location summons encounter the henchman. Skin Soul Cultist. Each character's location discards a card from the top over there for each undefeated. All right. Well, we'll definitely defeat him. So I will throw a bastard sword at him. I think. Um, I think I want to also discard this for more and make it 100%. That way we can kind of clear clear our hand a little bit there. Too many, too many weapons. All right. Kill him. Recharge the Stark Knife. Recharge the Bastard Sword. And I think we're done there, unfortunately. Not much else to do. All right. Grey Gardener we found. Alright, what do we got here? We got a, we got two auguries. Um I think I want to do one before the fight. Or before the explore. So I can know what's coming up. What do I want to check? I guess monsters. I'd like to close down the location if possible. So let's use that. Let's dig for monsters. It's the most common thing there. Uh, although it was kind of a mistake sending sending this guy there because there's a lot of weapons and armor here but a giant bean a battle axe i wanted to read that but it didn't all right there's a grazu here if you're checked to defeat grazu has the fire trait at 1d8 we have a fiery bolt um if it does not have either the acid fire trait he's undefeated so he's a troll an aquatic troll all right we can defeat him all right we'll put him on top just to kill him all right, let's do our let's recharge the augury. Uh, unfortunately, we don't have oh, we have 100% chance anyway. Let's do our spell book first though. Get a paralyze. That's always nice to have in our in our hand. All right, we'll recharge the augury. We'll encounter the troll. We'll fiery bolt him. We can acid arrow also. Look at us the acid arrow against him. Not good. All right, let's fire bolt. Destroyed. All right, recharge fire bolt. Unfortunately, we don't have anything to make that better. Let's check our spell book. Lightning bolt coming up. All right. All right. Oh, die! I was supposed to draw that. It's fine though. All right. I failed the recharge. Wow. All right. Well. Let's auger again, just so we know what's coming up. And we'll continue searching for monsters. A muck growl. What's Digit skin? Alright, this guy is is immune to acid. And if I have fire, add one d4. If the check to defeat does not have the fire trait, he's undefeated. Well, hmm. Hmm. Um, I think I'm just going to put you on the bottom of the deck then. You need to go away. All right, we'll recharge Orgri. Hope we don't fail. It's gonna draw this spell card that we didn't do before. All right, and what can we do with this review? To no, not gonna do that. All right, let's end our turn here. And I was hoping to find... Oh, I've got no weapons. No weapon. Alright. Well, I'm still going to explore. Pit of Malfeshnikor. Oh, this is interesting. So, I like this, this barrier. Draw three new items. You may keep one and banish any you don't keep. If you kept one, each character at your location is dealt 1d4 plus 1 fire damage. Otherwise, the barrier is defeated. After you act, banish this barrier. So, this is going to go away either way but um 
You may keep, yeah, so we can we can choose not to keep anything. All right, but we do, is there any reason to, otherwise it's defeated. Yeah. All right, so we drew three items. Let's take a look at them. Engineer's work gloves, review uh, one die to your craft or knowledge check. This card tattoo the tent to your craft the knowledge. That's okay. Wand of shield. Bury this card to reduce combat damage dealt to you by two. After playing, you may recharge it. Eh. And then I made it of life. I don't care for any of those. So I'm just gonna say no thanks. And the pit of my professional core goes away. I don't think I'm gonna spend these to go again. I wanna draw some cards. So uh. On anything. Start of turn. I have to encounter this guy, but I will just evade. Stupid man, henchman. All right, we do know what's here. This is an ambush. Um, dexterity acrobatics is our best thing. Um, so we're rolling a d12 plus five. So our minimum minimum is six, but we need to get a twelve. So we need to roll a 6 on a d12. We've got stuff we can do. Non-combat dexterity. All right. Let's examine this. That's the ambush. Um, still for craft. That's not this. So let's go ahead and use non-combat dexterity. Any dexterity non-combat check. So we'll use that. That makes it a 98% chance. I'm fine rolling that. 24, so we defeat it. And we get to explore again. Explore now. An archer. Um, well, I'd like to get him. Prism of Diplomacy or Dexterity Ranged. Um, hmm. I kind of want to use this, but not really. 75% chance is pretty good. I can use this blessing to get him and then use it to go again. I have the healing poultice. I think I'm going to do that. Almost failed that. All right, we get the archer. I'm just going to go ahead and... Actually, the recharge is kind of nice, though, for combat. But let's just go again. It's fine. We need to close down locations. Okay. Okay. If you were fighting someone else, she might offer mercy for surrender. I offer only to make your death quick. Uh, you will make a good tribute to Breakbones. If his hags don't steal you first. All right. Terrible voice there. I know. I know. Don't get mad at me. All right, um, hmm. We could just leave him there. Closing, bury 1d4 cards. Oh no. Hmm. I could avoid him and just leave him there. But that's just gonna be, that's gonna be kind of a pain to fight him there. Let's see. We can close this. That should be easy to close. That's easy to close. That may not be easy to close. All right. Let's let's try to close the locations. We won't we won't we won't go overboard. This is a 90% chance. Um Just to defeat a barrier. Strength let me check to close the location. Um, let's just use my improved guidance on myself. That makes it 100% chance. And that's a reusable resource. We'll recharge the improved guidance. 100% chance, so that's good. Alright. Um, let's do this one here. Yes, we want to close this. Succeed our Charisma Diplomacy 6 check. This won't help us, but uh, she does have something, right? Check to close a location. 99% chance. I, I think this is worth it. 
to and then we'll go to close this location uh, yes encounter evade we will encounter um, we have to put something away I think the paralyze is fine actually I want to keep that in case we find that muck crawl. I'll do the eloquence Oh, I could have used that to help anyway anyway um, all right now we fight him I think just an acid arrow 91 all right we charge acid arrow that should be 100% let's expand the spell book we get detect magic I will draw that Roll for this all right Asset hour is recharged. We had a 100% chance. All right, and then now we're finished closing. Oof. All right, I could review this. Backstab with the healing poultice. That's only 58. Wow, really? Paper of Torag makes it 91. And then I'll... If I pass this check, I'll use... Alright, this is fine. Got, oh my god, just barely. Alright, that was the first check. Now we will recharge this. We're just gonna throw everything at him. And I will use this. Because this will give me two dice. What? Wait a minute. Six data range skill. Alright. Let's do this the correct way. Recharge this. Combat ranged. Hold on. I think I see why. We technically don't have the range skill. That is what's happening here. So then this is not going to give me two dice. Really? That's... I never noticed that before. Well, we still will recharge that. Um, and if we use this, we don't want that. So we'll make it... Yeah. Make it that. Wait, it did give us... 97% chance. Do I backstab? I don't think so. And um, we're not going to spend another blessing. Alright, this is good. 30. Alright, so he's been defeated, but he will run. But now we know that he's going to run either to Shimmer Glens or the dam. Which we want. We kind of wanted. On closing, you may banish your card from your hand to draw a random new ally to your hand. No. No, no, no. End of turn actions. No. Alright, that's fine. Alright, so then the treacherous cave. Um he's bad at wisdom, so that's gotta be the cleric's gotta do that one. And she'll be staying. yeah, that's fine. Although if the bad guy's there, then we gotta close everything else. Alright. Battle of the Demis, it might it may not be temporarily closed, so that's not that's not that big of a deal. Okay, we're gonna continue trying to close places. So here we're gonna explore. Duelist! Recharge this card to it's a wait, hold on. It's a dexterity charisma diplomacy of eight. And recharge this card to add 1d6 to your check that has the finesse trait. Right, that's not super useful, but I think I do want her. So we can uh recharge this guy and reveal a weapon to add 1d6 plus one. So, I will do that. Why not? Reveal one weapon. Reveal that. It's 83% chance. We can do a disable 8 check. Same, same difference. Actually, disable is worse. Although, we could use our strength. A second here. We do this. I don't know if we can use this. Really, uh, one die to you. All right, dexterity of disable eight check, and then I don't think we can use this, so we'll do what we were we were doing. Uh, we'll reveal the warrior, I guess. I don't think it matters. Um, I don't feel like spending extra cards for this 
Because it's nice to get this, but not super necessary. So, we'll roll, roll it straight out. And I got it. And I'm going to go ahead and ask the duelist to show me what the next card is. A Warlord. Alright. He... Subtract one from each die rolled on your tech to defeat the Warlord. Well, that sucks. Let's uh, toss... Should we toss the Warhammer in him? Probably. 92% chance. Oh, I'll take that. 21. Alright, recharge the Warhammer. And I think we're good. What's in my discard pile? The Duelist. Alright. Alright, uh, we got to go through two cards there. Not bad. Alright, here... What do we know? We know the muck crawl is there. I think I'll explore the top card and then do a detect magic. Gale armor. At the end of your turn, recharge. It's a. Ooh, arcane. At the end of your turn, recharge this card to move. Recharge this card to reduce combat damage dealt to you by two. Banish. Alright. It's not super needed, but why not get it? Let's um explore now. A Krieg Ogre. Well, we definitely want to blow him away. So how about a Frost Ray? 91. I kind of don't want to fail this, but 91 is really good. All right, we'll roll that. 22. All right, recharge the Frost Ray. 100% chance. Let's do a spellbook thing here. Poog. Alright. He's always fun to see. Alright, we have a 100% chance to recharge a frost ray, so definitely do that. Close the location. Summon, defeat, abandon henchmen. Yeah, we can do that. Yes. Uh, encounter. Yes. Um, I guess we can recharge this... I think I'm going to recharge the Paralyze. Kind of like keeping the armor around. And we'll just Lightning Bolt him. 99% chance. Sappo, wappo. Alright, recharge Lightning Bolt. This one we don't have 100% chance. Check our Spellbook. That's only Poog there. Right, roll this. And... Oh, we made it. Max. Alright, location is closed. And what, what what does that location do again? So it put what's the information? Anyway, it put what the hell's happening here? Can't we look at this? My exam the exam went away. Alright, anyway. End of turn actions. Oh, we could if proficient with heavy armors, you may recharge this card when you reset your hand. Really? I mean, he's proficient with heavy armors? No, he's not. But if it's giving... We're not proficient with heavy armors, but... I'll take the free recharge if it'll let me. Wait, what is it doing? I want to see... It's. I think that's a... End of turn actions. What is the end of turn action? Alright. Let's see what it is. We'll recharge this. Oh, is that to move? I'm an idiot. It's this. At the end of your turn, recharge this card to move. We don't need to move. Alright? So, we'll just say no. We'll just say no. That's fine. Alright. Um, I'm tempted to just heal rather than, yeah, I think I'm just gonna heal rather than, that, that'll get us all our cards back. I'll trade one, one for that. I think we're, con we're kind of doing okay, we've already closed down two locations. Alright, here... We need to take stock of what we're doing. So two locations are closed. We know the boss is here. Or at the dam. Um, I kind of want to help out 
at the Shimmer Glens. But I'm just... The rogue is bad when she's by herself. What's her charisma? D6. I think I may... Go over here and help the fighter. Or do I go to the dam? Very one D4 cards. We really want to... We really want the boss over there. Hmm. Yeah, let's let's move over to the dam with her. There's a bunch of fights over there. Uh, we'll go over there. If I encounter the boss, I can always avoid it. All right, let's spyglass first, so we know what's coming. A Krieg Ogre. That's actually nice. I will leave that just like that and we'll kill that Krieg Ogre. Yep. Alright, we'll explore. Krieg Ogre. I'm gonna... I would like to recharge this. Well... If we reveal... Let's reveal this. And then... The backstab gives us a D6 plus one. So... That'll be... Three... Four... Uh, 10... 11, 12... 13... 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. 18 would be our average. If I do the backstab with the favor instead of spending it, right? Let's see. Recharge. 88% chance. No. We'll, we'll recharge this. Reveal this. And backstab with this. 96 is a lot better. These guys can do something. Blessing, Gorum, Poog. Recharge that three in the fire tree to a combat check. Hmm. Do I keep that for something else, though? I think I do. I think I'll use it. I, I, I really want to close this location. Oh, but I got to bury one of the cards. Oh, that's bad. I forgot about that. Shit. Screw it. That's fine. Please, a one. A two is fine. All right. All right. All right. That's not the worst thing in the world. It's not the worst thing in the world. All right. But we close this. Well, actually, maybe not. All right. We know now where the boss is. So let's end our turn. Show up our hand. All right. Hold on. Let's take stock of things. So we've only gone through 10 rounds, and we've already narrowed down where the boss is. The boss is in the treacherous cave, which means um, we have so many rounds that we can just take our time now with these others close these down if it gets tricky we can always temporarily close them so feeling good all right the fighter what you doing i guess we'll uh go and come in here a large chest we'll use the crowbar for this for sure uh and i can actually discard it right because i can do a strength yeah uh, hold on. yeah Ooh, that gives us because this draws 1d4 new weapons which is awesome all right, we'll crack it open. What do we got? Recharge the crowbar. I think it's 100%. Yeah. Yeah, crowbar is coming in so useful for the fight. All right, roll to draw weapons. Two. Show me what I got. Oh. Well, the Ransur we've seen before. Meh. Flaming Scimitar, though. Uh, strength plus a d6 plus one. You may additionally discard this to add another d6 plus one and the fire trait. Uh, we'll have to compare it to whatever our uh, cleric has. I don't think I really want this. 
One, two, three, four, five, six. We would, we have to discard a card. Or spend something to go again. Um, divine Perception or Diplomacy. Well, rather than discarding a card, I'd rather just spend this to go again. Challenging Shield. If you played a weapon with the two-hand demon, I played it, discard this card to add your strength die to your combat check that has a melee trait. Reveal this to reduce combat damage of two by two. Proficient with light armors, you may play another armor in this check. If proficient, so it's okay. It's cute. It's cute. Twelve percent chance to get it. I'm not super excited about getting it, so I'm just gonna roll straight up. We don't get it. That's fine. We've got plenty of shields and armors. Um one, two, three, four, five. Um, I don't want to keep this. Let's go to the discard. We'll get rid of that. Um, I think I'll keep that just in case. Having two weapons is good. All right, we'll just draw one card, Palagina. And while I'm at it, we're just gonna use Palagina now. Oh, get something back. All right, the wizard. Can encounter stuff there. Oh, we probably should have switched places. This is Charisma Diplomacy. Wisdom or Divine. He's actually okay at Wisdom Divine, so we'll have him go over there. Detect magic could be useful, but we'll do that after the explore. Blessing of the Gods. I will spend that Blessing of the Gods to go again. A Krieg Ogre. Wow. Okay. Well, this will let us close it. This won't help us here. Um, yeah. Fire Bolt. 98% chance. Recharge Fire Bolt. I might fail, so let's check our spell book. Toxic Cloud. We'll draw that. And... Alright. Just do this. Got it. Close the location. E yes. It's only a 12% chance. Wisdom. We need something for wisdom. This guy doesn't help. This is Calastria. Do we have any Calastria ones? Nope. Alright, so wisdom. This is strength. This is combat. Favor of the gods. Melee of fortitude. Well. Hmm. <laughs> well, I, I thought I was I had much better things. So we just use the favor of the gods. Makes it 67. Hmm. And we can use another. Kind of want to keep the blessing of Gorm for the boss fight. Favor of Torag. Not combat strength. That doesn't come up very often. I probably want to get rid of this. This blessing. Anyway. Out of our deck, I mean. Alright. That's not. <laughs> that wasn't. That wasn't by a good margin there. All right. So we've closed off everything here. Um. I think I will recharge this just to get rid of it. Recharge. Where do I want to go with him? I don't really mind going to the treacherous cave. But I'd rather go there with the fighter. So we're not going to do that. But I, I am going to just discard this. But I, we're going to reset hand. Or not. I'm, I'm, eh, I meant to discard that. I'm pressing wrong buttons here. Alright, uh, the cleric. What is the cleric going to do? I don't want her to fight Krieg. She's no no bueno at that. Charisma Diplomacy. 
just not really good at that. Hmm. But there really isn't much options other than healing people. Which nobody really needs other than the rogue. What does the rogue have? Discard pile. Uh, a heal wouldn't be terrible. And she could possibly fight Krieg. Or whatever his name is, the Krieg guy. Um. All right, well, whose turn is it now? It is her turn. I actually think I will go over there. I mean, I could go here, but the wizard will go there and help him close it. So we'll go with the we'll go with the cleric over to the to where the rogue is at, and we're gonna go ahead and I'm probably not gonna use this fervor, so I'm gonna use this and reveal that. I'd rather keep the blessings. Yeah, and then cure the rogue. Bonus cards. Alright, and then that's it. We'll go to the end step. Alright, now the rogue. The rogue will go ahead and go to, I guess, the treacherous cave. I think she can fight him by herself if she needs to. Worst case scenario, she can uh, evade him. We can wayfind. The researchers can examine the top card of your location deck. Do we want to do that before or after and explore? I like having more information, so we'll just go ahead and explore. Potion of resinous skin. All right, we can't get it, so. And we'll recharge this. I had two to survive, but that's actually good for closing it. Um, we'll recharge it just to look at the next card. There he is, Malugus Krieg. Eighteen and eighteen. All right, we have to. We'll have to think about that. I could. I could get rid of this thieves tools. I get rid of the thieves tools to hopefully draw either another weapon. Yeah, I definitely gotta draw. I gotta keep the dart though, even though the dart is no good. The dart really isn't that good. Um, but I probably won't draw anything else. This guy is a charisma diplomacy six to close out, which isn't. He's not super good at. But we've got blessings. All right. What am I doing here? I am going to the discard step, and I'm actually going to discard. I kind of. I kind of want to recharge this. Having one to my dexterity check isn't as useful as having another blessing or a battle weapon. So I'm going to recharge this. And I'm going to discard the Steve's tools. And that's it. And we're going to hope that we draw the things we need. Not really. Well, what do we get? We got a dagger. And that. Uh, okay. Uh, that's, that's decent. All right. Here. I think we want to keep the fighter here. Yeah. In fact, the whole crew is going to go here. Okay. Um, Let's turn this in. Alright. Explore. Soldier. Um, We have a 100% chance to get him. Alright. Sure. Come with me, soldier. Yes, sir. I obey. And we will go ahead and discard him to go again. Krieg Ogre. Alright. Um, just throw the Ransor. Actually, can we just reveal it? Nah. We'll throw the Ransor at him. Oh, that's not a toss. Alright, 
we'll do that one. Zap. Done. Recharge the shock leaf. Close the location. Yes. Uh, we need some help with this. What is this? Desna. We've got no Desna cards. All right. Um, check to close the location. Oh, yes. 99. Oh, my God. I almost failed that. I almost failed that. All right. So that's closed. Uh, you may shuffle an ally from your discard pile into your deck. Sure. I mean, it's free. Uh, do you want the duelist? No. Take the soldier. What a good soldier you are. You are the man. All right. So we're kind of closing in on a finish here. Let us continue. Hold on. Let's go to the discard. Uh, we'll recharge this. We're going to discard the Rensor. And hopefully draw some blessings. All right. That's super great. Um, basically, we're, we're we, we need to prepare for the rogue fighting Krieg. So, for what it's worth, we'll move. All well, the places are closed. So, we'll move over here together just because we can. I don't think it matters. And do I have any spell, any more spells in my deck that could help uh, the the uh, Richard said three and the fire trait to a combat check. This is on the bottom of my deck, though, isn't it? But if we were to draw this, I mean, that does help. Is it just in the fire trait to a combat check? Uh, the Zarni thief doesn't really help. So I think I will try to go for, I really wish I could use these cards, these attacks away from my place. Anyway, um, we're going to go to the discard step. So we're going to get rid of, no, end of turn actions. No, I want to go to the discard, get rid of this Gale armor. Mm, get rid of this detect magic. This Medusa mask. I really want to draw into. Fuck it. I'll keep the toxic cloud. That will help because that'll affect. Yeah, that'll that'll help the whole uh, the whole combat. So that's good. All right. No poog, unfortunately. All right, this girl over here is at the dam. Not much going on. She's gonna just go to the discard step. Does the Legion Harbor have Divine? I really wish it did. But we've got three blessings, so that's kind of good. Alright, let's just go to the discard step. We'll recharge the Legion Armor. And that's it, and then draw two cards. Alright, an eight is good. Alright, here. I think we're just gonna do uh, no, we don't need we don't do this step anyway. Alright, he's right on top. And we just got to get an 18 twice. All right, let's do it. Mauricio. Mauricio, fulfill your promise. All right, so. We'll use the dagger first. We'll charge that. We'll backstab using the staff. Hold on a second. Back up here. The dart is... Plus a D4. So is the dagger. But the dagger, we recharge it for an extra D4. This one gives us a reroll, which is not that great. It's just a reveal. And then if we backstab with this, discarding that, that's an 83% chance. And if for, for whatever reason we fail, we can always re-roll it. Um, we will use Toxic Cloud. 95. Uh, I think I'll save the, the double ones. Alright, so here. 
We'll use, um, what is this? Kaden Kaelian. Oh, we can recharge this. Woo! 99. Alright, that's the first one. Now we gotta do it again. Now we will recharge the throwing axe. We'll backstab with the dart. We'll discard that. That'll give us more dice. Uh, I'm throwing everything at this guy. Oh, hold on. We am playing another weapon. If you haven't already played this on this check, you may discard this card to have 1d4 to your card. Yep, discard it. And we haven't played a blessing, so we're going to use that as well. And then she's going to use Blessing Mlash to two dice to any check to defeat a monster. So bury that. And we're going to use Aid. Discard that. <laughs> we're also going to use a Favor Cal Calistria. <laughs> It's still not a hundred percent chance. Uh, he's got nothing else to do other than his toxic cloud, and we're gonna use a f any combat strength check. That doesn't help. Flavor, flavor gum, whatever. It's still useful. Oh, and, and it still lets us play another. All right, we'll use that as well. Now it's a hundred percent. There we go. All right. So whoever was saying that was ridiculous. This is what, what mattered. We got 100% chance on it. So, blam. What's our total? 43. All right. That went about as well as it could. At least the dam still works. It is time to infiltrate Ball Breakbone's home and cut the head off the snake. Victory. All right. All right. What is our uh, scenario reward? We get. I, I forgot what it was. All right, we get. Is this? No, we get a new power. Get a new power. We can check out our the ones that are coming later. Specialize the character's power by selecting a role. We can be acrobat, nimble and dare the. So what does sabotage barrier? A two two non combat check to defeat a barrier. Inspire dexterity. All right, anyway, I don't know. Let's go to powers. We got a. All right, I don't want to go to a bigger hand size. Although, for her, it'll be a little bit better so we can draw the weapon we need. We've got proficiencies we need. We can do hide. You may even, I mean, put the card on top of the location deck. I kind of like that a lot. But. And we can really upgrade our sneak attack. But that's only a plus one. Sabotage. Oh. Wait. No. We're a rogue right now. We are still a rogue. We didn't upgrade yet. So what do we have available? Hand size. We've got these proficiencies. We've got hide. We could do our sneak attack, which is plus one, but... I actually think I'll go to that for the hand size because we've been having trouble finding our weapons and because of our backstab and stuff like that we can get cards out of a hand so that combat isn't as much of a problem so I think I'll go with the hand size all right he will take I really don't want to go hand size with him although that with him isn't it's not that dangerous either um we could make the teamwork better so teamwork or a bigger hand size. Um, man, I think hand size is not a terrible idea for him. Again, the plus one is not that epic. So we'll go for that. Um, wizard has only one option. Really? That's scary. All right. We only have one option, hand size. Everything else is taken. All right, so we go to seven cards. And then her, she's got the proficiencies. Um, that's just an extra plus one against undead, which is kind of limited. I think we'll go, for, again, the hand size. So everybody will increase hand size. I mean, yeah. I'm scared to go with bigger hand size because it's just you can lose more cards on fail checks and stuff, so yeah. Alright. Would you like to proceed with these choices? Confirm. Alright, back to 
fixing our decks. Okay, weapons, we're good. I really want to get rid of those darts, man. All right, no, no, that's the armor. Items, we're good with what we got here. This has all been working out. I do, I do have the masterwork tools. All right, we don't need this archer for her. The blessings. Um, I'm kind of thinking. You know, this helps her though. Uh, charisma. I do want to keep that. Range, stealth, or craft. That's useful too. All right, we're good with those. All right, the fighter has too many weapons over here. We'll get rid of the scimitar. Sprensor. Sprensor is okay. I kind of like the Stark Knife just because it's an extra weapon we can throw in combat in addition to our regular weapon. When playing another, if you haven't already played the Yarrow. Yeah. Um. That's kind of nice, plus 2d4. But it's not magical. It's a little bit better than the Warhammer, I think. 1d8 plus 1d6. This is 2d4. And if we fail, we can reroll. Fail, reroll, or more dice. This is actually more dice. So the Rantour is not that good for us. Although this Flaming Scimitar is actually kind of nice. It'll basically be 2d6 plus 2, plus fire. That'll take the place of this, and it's magical. Yeah, that's a no-brainer. All right, we'll do that. Although, let me put this aside just in case the cleric can use it. All right, no, no one there. He's good with those. Too many allies here. We don't need the duelist. Although she would be useful for the cleric, for a rogue. Uh, and we don't need the soldier. Grey Gardener, I like. Dilettante. Alright, that's good. And the blessings seem fine. Alright. Over here, weapon, spells, armor. Oh, we, I forgot we had that Gale armor. Um, I'm good with these. He's got a blessing of the gods. All right, here. Um, it's actually not that good. Great club is better. Flaming mace is better. Great club is better, and the warhammer plus two is better. So flaming scimitar, no good with her. All right, we'll give it to him. Uh, spells. We didn't get anything to replace these, so unfortunately, that's what we got. Uh, armor, item, that, and I kind of wanted to get rid of this favor of Torag, but because it's a favor, it's still pretty good. So let's check everybody. Weapons, we're good. See, these are all finesse. Oh, this isn't finesse. This one is. This one isn't. Oh, and this one is. Okay. Oh, never mind. Alright. I need better daggers, though. Alright. I think we're all set. Fighter's got his weapons. The Flaming Scimitar will be his thing. He's only, He only has one non -ma Well, two non-magical weapons. But the Stark Knife isn't a main weapon, anyway. Alright. Armors. I don't think I want this Gale Armor. Recharge card to move. Eh. I like everything else we have. All right, that'll be it for now. So let's uh, get rid of stuff. Soldier needs to go away. Blessing of the gods. Rensor, Warhammer. Still gotta get rid of things. Uh, this archer, this duelist, and one more. Gale armor. Nobody likes that. All right, we are done. Get 16 gold for that. Not that it really matters. All right, so that'll be it for now. The next episode will be the last one of the scenario into the mountains. And if I remember correctly, the villain is pretty tough in the next one. Uh, when the third henchman is defeated, each character is the 1d6 force damage. Wow. 
Wow. But we get all kinds of stuff for defeating this. So this may be a tough one, though. Anyway, that'll be it for now, guys. Thank you so much for watching. And I will see you soon.